Agdol na kami kasi manaka arutan tare. Tangro na raw tangkara, matal bite. Probala arutan gichu, kore ba ako gichu kunya po nungka, bunta tipa, ana bata. Anaka busuk busuk tulik, busuk busuk tulik. Nama ni kenakal tu ngai nakai bungo kaki denti denti maka busuk tulik. Nang ama. When they came running, I asked, hey, what's wrong with these people? Why are they running? I didn't know that they are coming towards me. So I started to run because I was tired. They caught up with me. Malu kalau tuan nang ama, lalu tu nak kira kira naik bungul lagi orang banyak naik bungul lagi hidung aje, naik bungul nana nak lagi nampak. Bunda tiba. The other one turned me down, he teared my skirt and my pant, and he raped me. When I started feeling bad, I knew that I'm pregnant, but I knew the pregnancy is for my boyfriend. I didn't know that I'm carrying a white kid. I was not married, but I had a man who was staying with him. We had two children. On the moment he saw that the child is white, he went and he went forever. I've never seen him as from that time. Even right now, I'm feeling bad to remember those things. I'm in a deep trouble. I don't know why God is punishing me because of this child. Anyo, ang oro na kana ng kolomo na miki. Pero tayo siyere, aligin ka itasa. Pero nagapaligin na itasa. Ay jo nalba yan. Pero tana ay kita riyag. Meron kuya na ayo unan niya. Chomo pi. Tiang ini kata tu ngaji bagel bayan, tangkar lagi nato ki, ala pun alat tanah naguan nukun 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 jadi turu, itu nengoji. Because in our tribe we can't report that thing, it's a big shame. If you go and say that you have you you have been raped. Keba, keba, keu kuma pasal nato jual bayan nengoi itu turai, nengoi itu rapi, nengoi itu lebih jauh, tanah itu orang kompawanar. Most of the kids, the white kids, which were. They were given tobacco, and you know tobacco is poisonous. Once you give an infant, she goes, she dies, or he dies. Mostly, they are giving because this is a taboo to in our in our society. Sasa ino nje sabili alikuwa kicha sambira. Sasa mimi apa na yeye. Amana sasa mtoto ambaye mienda secondary sana jua tumoto salas mama mukuba mifikisha makakumi na nane ileke sasa. Mara na e e jeda pa eight eight. Fikwa so fikwa so na mani ni lasima na ulisa. Kulingan na pili matusi na mani no na ulisa na matu lasima kuna swali na ulisa. Asa unajua sasa kikulisa swali kama yoyo inakuwa figumu hama ili kuwa na ili aibu haya kwa mimi sasa kwa sababu ili sana mtoto kwenye story liku. Kito mtoto chida kito kwa sababu unajua ni mtoto ambaye ana wakati ili kuwa na fura kio na mtoto ingine. Mtoto huwa napenda kupewa matusi makali makali na watoto wengine kujaribu hata kuwafukusa kando na hawa kwa pusi. Ana stare sana kama wale wengine. Hmm. Kimchezo wanamtaja kwa majina tofauti tofauti. She's coming from school telling me people are beating her. They keep on pulling her hair sometimes she has some marks. Even if I go and complain in school nobody cares. Nobody. Because they are saying children are many, we cannot control them. You know it's good, like like now the way 
we are here. Something make us to forget all those things, like the rape case. They want to, to be united, justice, and share them together. The most important thing they want to their children to get a better life, future life, to get a good education, because they are struggling now a lot, a lot. Giving the support to the Mbarzunatal, but you know, I matter. Giving a better support. You know, I was, but never can I get a good ticket. Now, I'm back again, I'm Guru Naibunga. Never seen a Guru Paya, I gave Bunga. Now, to now, I see you. A year, Bagan Musada, finding out to rule. A year, Bagan Musada would deny it to go. We are very active in the village, doing a lot of activities. We do a lot of work, like bead work, because we have sometimes uh, the tourists, they pass here, so we just sell to them on the road. So the money we use, we used to go and sell there, we put together, we share everything. Most of them, they are not educated, but when we go to a workshop, they are planning about women violence, how the man treat the women, how we can treat your child. In other Samburu villages, women are being treated badly, but in our village, we treat them very well. Like now, the men who are in the village, they are our children, even our men from this village, they treat us very well. <laughs> At some point, the British government agreed uh, to put together a team from England to investigate on behalf of the British government. And it was simply the Royal Military Police. For, for us, it didn't make any sense and logic to have a military investigate the military. Since then, uh, the case uh, has gone to several kind of uh, levels, but it's been very challenging and frustrating as well. The money that the Kenya government gets from the military exercises and military police in Kenya is a huge amount of money. So our feeling as local communities and as children of this land felt that there are many reasons that the government may be fear to take our issue onto board. The Kenya government, it could be very nice for them to fight for these things because we are Kenyans. We are their people. This case has a number of angles to it. There's a kind of a, a social or moral kind of argument to the case. And there's also an element of the issue about the financial stress, a kind of a bringing and discrimination that those children who are associated with the rapes continue to suffer within the community in which they live. Sometimes she, she gets sick, sick, I don't have money to take her to the hospital. I don't have, nobody can even give me a manual work. Everybody hates me just because of great journey. <laughs> but I'm praying God. Like. You cannot just say you are withdrawing this case because of the 500 women, even if uh, maybe two ungenuine cases were ungenuine and 400 uh, are genuine, then that tells you that it is enough evidence. It tells that you have done a mess. For sure, there is no glory in rape. So I would be surprised that a woman will come forward to say I was raped if she was not, actually. There's no glory in such thing. We are not lying. I'm telling the world, I'm, we are not lying. We are saying the reality. It is true. It is true. We have the children. A child like this could have not been here if you are, not, if you are lying. Our belief is that we get five white children in the village, and there is no white men across there. It's only the British Army. It's not a biological problem. We feel the five cases is enough to say it is true. 
To me, I think the women who have come forward to state their story need a lot of respect. It seems that the British government and probably also the Kenyan government takes responsibility for this. It seems to have just closed the door so that the women case may never be heard and may never be known whether it's right or wrong. We still have to mobilize for more support to make sure the case is put across. It's not only the UKs that uh, he has good lawyers. You can be able to mobilize from US, from the international community. We are also optimistic that uh, if we have other joint lawyers across the world to pick the case and put across again the suite so that you can be able to move forward this campaign for our community's rights to be addressed. Our tears have been all in vain. 